Hey YouTube! So, I wanted to show you guys a look today that's more fun for going out or, I don't know, going on a date or you could go to the grocery store on it if you're feeling sassy. You do what you want. Uh, I'm going to use that pretty gold I bought yesterday at Sephora. Obviously, I could not wait to put that on my face. So, let's get started. Yay! Starting off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Doo -doo -doo. I guess I could have opened it earlier. Um, just going to put that on my eyelid. Just doing one side and one now, right now. Um, okay, so first thing you're going to do. I have this awesome palette from Smashbox. It's called Smokebox. And it has some six really pretty colors in it. Um, do, do, do. And I'm going to use this gray right here. Um, dark, smoky, charcoal gray. Just taking my Sephora collection all over eyeshadow brush. Dabbing that in there. And I'm going to put that in my crease. It can be a little messy. You're going to cover it up. So. Got that in my crease. Next, I am going to take another palette um, by Urban Decay. And gosh, if I don't know what this one's called. It doesn't... Ah! The Feminine Palette. I knew it was something weird like that. And it has these pretty... pretty colors in it. And I'm going to take this turquoise right here. And I've got a different kind of brush. This is by Eco Tools. It doesn't, it's called Touch Up Concealer Brush, but I do not use it for concealer. I use it for like getting a smaller area of eyeshadow, like really thick. It's got thicker bristles that are like more densely packed than um, a regular eyeshadow brush, like the one I was just using. So I'm taking this turquoise, it's called Hijack, so if you like just wanted to buy the turquoise, it's Urban Decay Hijack. Taking that turquoise, and I'm going to look in the mirror over here, and I'm going to pat that on the outside corner of my eye, and this, this hijack color. I don't know what it is. It just likes to get everywhere. It's the only one in this palette that does it too. So I'm taking that to the middle of my eye, just packing it on under that gray. And getting it all over my face. Don't worry, we'll cover it up later. And, uh, brought a tissue over here just for that. Going to try to get some of that off. And next, we're going to take our NARS Kawaii palette. That's how I was told you say it. Yesterday, I was having a real hard, hard time with it. Um, we're going to take the beautiful gold. Gosh, that blue just does get everywhere, doesn't it? That pretty, pretty gold. And I'm taking um, an angled eyeshadow brush barely angled. And I'm putting the tip of it in the gold. And you're going to put that on the inside corner of your eye. And this stuff is like butter. It just goes on. It's so smooth. So you're going to blend that a little bit over the blue in the middle. Ta -da. Taking the same brush again and the blue again, hijack, and I'm just going to pat that on the edge again, blend it into the middle. Ta-da! And then 
Okay, if you can get this off, really, I might have to go get some makeup remover. It means serious business today. You didn't just see me do that. There we go. Don't do that. My hands are clean. My mouth is clean. Uh, we, um, next, I have this angled eyeliner brush. And I've got like a little thimble full. I'm going to fill a water bottle cap up with water since obviously I don't have a sink over here. And I'm going to dip it in there and get the brush wet. And I'm going to put it back in that blue in the hijack. And just brush it. It's clumpy. Okay, and then I'm going to line under my eye with that. And then I'm just, while this brush is wet, I'm going to pat the very outside corner to darken that up a bit. Okay. Doop -doo -doo. And I just took that eyeliner about halfway in because now... We're going to take the other end of this concealer brush that I use for eyeshadow, which is really tiny. And we're going to put it back in that Kawaii Gold. You're going to do the inside, like, your tear duct area. And bring it down. And do... up there if you want. So, there we go with that. Next we are going to take um, the Too Faced All I Want for Christmas eyeshadow and blush palette. We're going to use this matte highlighter. Um, I'm just going to take my regular fluffy eyeshadow brush. Um, it in there and go right under the brow bone. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. Next, Sephora liquid eyeliner and pewter. It's also number 03. If you want to go look at that, it's the kind without the glitter in it. They have like glitter eyeliner and then the regular, and that's what this is. So I'm just going to line my top lash line. And now we're going to get out this concealer, my Urban K 24-7 um, concealer pencil. And uh, get rid of all that blue that I spilled under there. I don't know what it is. It's like that eyeshadow knows it's a strange color, so it just wants to get all over your face. And because I kind of have some of the blue on my fingers, now I am actually going to use a foundation brush. Um, I know you guys probably don't think I ever use these. Um, I can't use the sponges. I'm allergic to sponges. Yay me. They have latex in them sucks. If you are ever like having problems and you use beauty sponges, maybe consider throwing them out and getting one of these. This is by Eco Tools. So, I'm going to blend that concealer in and try not to wipe away any of that eyeshadow you have under your eye because it's pretty. Next, I've got a um, new uh, foundation for y'all. Sorry, I can't think of words. Um, it's by CoverGirl. It's 
It's called Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. This is um, number 305. Again, the lightest color because I'm pale. And it, it looks like that, kind of like moussey. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit on one of my fingers and put it all, just dot it on this side of my face. I guess I can just do my whole face. And then again, you're going to take that same foundation brush and just blend it everywhere. And this stuff's just a little heavier than um, the Bare Minerals. Um, so when I want a little more coverage, um, this is what I go to. And it stays really well all day. It's not heavy. The only complaint I have about it is it's, it doesn't have any added perfume or anything and it just smells really funny. Um, it's supposed to be their sensitive skin foundations. They didn't want to add anything weird, but then, you know, it just smells odd. You get over it. Like it doesn't smell all day. It's just probably for the first 10 minutes you have it on. Okay, that's done. Next, I'm going to take my All I Want for Christmas eyeshadow and blush palette that I used earlier with my fluffy blush brush, which is by Sonia Kashuk. It's number 101. And I'm going to sweep that on the apples of my cheeks. So there's that. I'm going to go doom the other side of my face, then I'll talk to you guys about lipstick. Okay, I'm back. Um, the other side of my face is done. <laughs> um, mascara. Benefit Bad Gal Lash. I'm going to do the top lash line. Um, and if you guys don't like the blue with this, the palette, you know, comes with that purple. Just put the purple everywhere that I've put the blue. And uh, that's pretty too. I just felt like trying a blue out with the gold today. Okay. Lips. I'm going to go pretty simple with my lips today since my eyeshadow is pretty dramatic for me. Um, I have this beautiful Chanel lip gloss. It's number 119. It's just like a sparkly rose. And I'm gonna... that everywhere. Touch up my blush a bit. And there you go. That's your look for today. Um, really pretty. Gold and blue. Don't forget that gray. And it's just something fun and colorful for you to try for the summer. Wear it wherever you want. Um, you can always make it more dramatic. Um, add false eyelashes, um, darken up the outside corner with that gray if you want, or add a really bold, like, hot pink lip, yeah, um, do what you want with it, just play, um, so yeah, that's your look for today, I hope everyone has a great weekend, um, subscribe, like my Facebook page, uh, share my videos, please, that'd be great. Bye. Ta-da.